Neanderthal man? Uh, well, that's uh, a good question. Where does he come in relation to um, theosophy and the theosophical theory of evolution, or the theosophical view of evolution? Well, firstly, I would like to say that Neanderthal man, in my view, along with many other now extinct species of humanity, was in fact human. Um, <coughs> wasn't an ape, wasn't an ape as is claimed by some creationists. Now Neanderthal man actually was possibly the, probably the best known of man's, modern man's cousins um, because he lasted up to about 20, 25,000 years ago. Um, Homo erectus lasted till about 70,000 years ago and I think that the extinction of a number of humanoid um, species uh, was part of the overall scheme of things. It was meant to happen. And the reason I say that is that the real driving force behind human evolution is not adaptation and natural selection. That is part of it. It is there. But the real driving force is the need to develop more effective lower vehicles for the expression of mental and spiritual powers. And that's what's driving us forward in the current phase of our evolution, in the current root race with the fifth reincarnation of humanity in the current cosmic era known as the globe. And there are two more to come. So we have seven mass reincarnations of humanity in each cosmic era. So we, we're the fifth. And within that, we are developing mental and physical powers um, in order dealing with the world uh, in order to learn what we need to learn. Now, on our way here, and this really only, my view, refers to the current root race, we have produced a number of what I would call drop downs. Now, if the main thrust of evolution is to um, develop the, the right um, vehicles, and when I say vehicles, um, about physical body is part of it, um, but also our emotional, our emotions, our emotional body, um, our um, mental body, our, our mental faculties, all these uh, go towards helping us learn what we need to learn, helping us deal with the world, and therefore the expression of mental and, and uh, spiritual powers. Now, fortunately, um, we can't uh, call up uh, members of the uh, Homo erectus and Neanderthal species uh, now that they're gone, um, but it is likely that they, along with a large number, some say it's possibly as many as 250, now extinct um, branches of the human species or humanoid species um, were not satisfactory for what the evolutionary imperative uh, needed. They, they were not fit for purpose. And gradually, there were these drop downs, and some came and went, but gradually we came down to the, the one human race, Homo sapiens, uh, we're just the one outfit. Um, there, there are no um, rival human species. We, as far as we know, there, there's been stories of Neanderthals still holding out in the mountains of Mongolia, but um, it, that's yet to be yet to be proven. That story's been around for a very long time. But the the groups that disappeared clearly, I think, were meant to. That 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 was part part of the overall scheme of things, and we are left now. We became the, the sole human species about 25,000 years ago. And since then, and it's significant I think that this has happened, we've developed civilization and we've pushed technology forward immeasurably. And I think that's part of our, the expression of our mental powers, that once we became the, the sole uh, representatives of the human of the human life wave, the human species. Um, then this would happen, 
Um, it may be that the other um, fault of humanity certainly perhaps were not capable of doing that, I'm not sure. But we became the single um, representative of the human race, Homo sapiens, and we've now pushed civil, you know, we, we've developed civilization, um, incredible technology, but we've gone beyond just technology because it's okay, throwing a spear, you, you've got technology. We've got to the stage now where uh, we can actually determine our own evolution. Um, we can um, we can change ourselves. We're we're all living longer. Um, there's more of us because modern medicine more, more of us survive. Um, a number of diseases have been eradicated, and that will continue. Um, so that's that's part of our evolution. That will change. Certainly, living longer will change society. There's no doubt about that. And the number of people on the planet, and that's going to be a problem. There's some things we've done which are going to give us problems that are uh, probably now, or certainly in, in, within a few years, will be more people on the planet than the planet can actually support if we don't uh, do something about it. But okay, we've uh, we invent something then it gives us something to deal with that that's and I think that's part of our evolution and spiritually as well our spiritual awareness we have some control over our spiritual evolution as well um, equally important to our um, in the evolution of our mental faculties and and our physical our physical bodies and um, all this is moving forwards um, and um, I think it is significant now that this is carried forward by one single um, species and not set the not separate rival human species on the planet. Um, this is uh, we're unified and uh, we're now moving forward.